No Chanel, mama and Gucci got out the hoop to get been through hell. Carry the, carry the, life is a movie, yeah. We prevail, now we do the coupies, don't do the groupies, yeah. Got money for bail, don't act like you know me, knock off your coffee, yeah. Flooded the rally with Ethan, her cake and Trinity the Beamer, blowing the money like Freema. I got a flex on the sleepers, they tryna do me like Caesar. You gotta watch for the creepers, I got the eye and I steam you. Roll up and I blow you like I'm such a high achiever, I make a skeptic believe. Hey, I'm Harvey Harrington. Welcome back to Dream Chasers. And this is part three of the undersized player. Um, I named Chris Paul. I named um, Damian Lillard. I named Kyrie Irving. I named Kilbert Walker. But for all these guys, somebody perfected a part of their game. Kyrie Irving, when he gets down to the basket, you're not going to block his shot. He can spin that ball off the backboard and make shots go on fast. He can he can shoot shots where he outran the basket. Um, you know, Chris Paul basically perfected um, you know hesitation and pull up where he's able to pull up over the top of taller players. Um, you know, Kimber Walker with his handles, um, just getting the spot. One thing I like about Kyrie Irving a lot is the fact that he can make moves that are so realistic that he can shake anybody in the gym. And that's just what it is. But ultimately, you have to work to perfect your craft. You got to work on on something that can get you out of trouble. You can work on something. You got to work on something that um, is going to be effective throughout the game at crucial points. I mean, just like I said, Kyrie Irving, when it gets down, when when the game gets on the line, he can make moves. He can get to the basket. He can make moves, shake you, and gain space. Same with Chris Paul. Chris Paul can do the same thing as well. He can get down. He can finish. Um, a lot of times he likes to shoot that ball kind of high over the defender. And, you know, Kimball Walker, kind of the same thing. I mean, he knows how to get to spots. That's one of the things that's that's huge for, especially if you're a smaller player, is just getting to spots on the floor and being able to finish um, from those particular spots. I mean, if you watch these guys, sometimes off of rebounds, they're dribbling over to one spot, and they know where they they know where they want to be at. I mean, um, from one of my videos, I think it was either the first or the second one, I was just talking about they they get to spots and they do the stuff that they like. They do the things that make them feel comfortable. If you're a smaller guard and you're not fully comfortable in the game, I mean, these are things you got to work at. You got to consciously make an effort if, you know, you're playing AAU, you're playing school ball, if you're playing open gym. These are the things that you have to think about. And this is how you work on your craft. You got to think about, OK, I'm, I'm going to play a pick and roll. Somebody switch and I get a big guy on me that maybe can move and I got to be able to get my shot off. All right. Or I got to be able to beat him and drop a pass off to, you know, my big guy that's waiting these are just things that can help you to progress if you're if you're undersized. I, and and I wholeheartedly believe this. Doesn't matter how tall you are. Doesn't matter how fast you are. Doesn't matter how strong you are. Ultimately, it's what's up here and it's what's in here that's going to make you a great basketball player, make you a great football player, good tennis player, whatever it is. These two things have got to be unshakable. And I mean, you have to continuously go at people. Um, when, when a lot of people look at small guards, a lot of times now, you know, sometimes you may disregard a small guard if he's quiet. And if his game speaks tall, then everybody's on him. So it just has to be every time you play the game, you got to play the game and you have to destroy people. That's what it is. You got to go out and you got to destroy people every game. Don't let it slack. And then from there, once people respect you, you got to continue to destroy. That's just the game. All right. So being undersized is, you know, we're not going to use that as an excuse. Undersized players can play just as well as the tall players. And that's what it is. So um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I'm Harvey Harrington. Just remember, dreams don't work unless you do.